Hey friends, Kendra here. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So this is a highly requested video. You guys, I posted a picture of these braids on my Instagram and you guys are like, really sis? You just gonna post something and not give us a tutorial? So I was like, okay, you know what? I can do a tutorial for my friends out there. So I decided to go ahead and film me doing a couple of these braids. These are Bohemian Goddess Box Braids. Took me about eight hours to do. Um, I will have all hair information down below, all the products that I use down below. So if you guys wanna see how I got this style, keep on watching. All right, you guys, before we actually get started on the braiding part, I wanna show you guys the hair that I use really quick. Um, so for the curly hair all over my head, this is the Bishi, 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 Bishi? I don't know, okay? But this is um, a 14 inch deep twist braid in the color 99J. As you can see, it looks like this. Okay. All right, and 99J is a burgundy color. It looks like this, you guys. All right, so these are individual pieces that I just pulled out and used. And this pack came with three bundles. And as you can see, this is how much I have left over. Okay, so that is the curly hair. Now, the braiding hair that I use is from Bobby Boss. This is the Bobby Boss Multi Pack 3X Just Braid Glam Pre Feathered and Hygienic, Hygienic 65 inch hair. Okay. 65 inches, you guys, I wanted it super long. As you can see, it has a nice burgundy ombre. Very soft, doesn't stink, okay, does not stink. And it came with three bundles in each pack. I bought four packs of these. I only used three of these. Um, did I only use three? Yep. Yeah. I only used three packs of these and each bundle gave me like four or five braids. So, if you can calculate, okay, that's how many braids I have in my head. So each one of these bundles gave me, I would say four to five braids a piece. So this hair is super nice. This is not sponsored by Bobby Boss, although I wish somebody would cook a girl with a sponsorship, <laughs> okay. This is not sponsored by Bobby Boss or by Bay She or whatever. This is not a sponsored video at all. I just simply wanted to jump on here and show you guys how I did these braids. So that's the hair that I use, you guys. And further along in the video, I'm gonna be talking about the products that I used. Um, so you guys will see that as well. But all right, done rambling, done showing you guys um, the hair that I use. Let's go ahead and jump into the demo. All right, you guys, so I have two sections up here that are loose that I'm gonna be showing you guys. And as you can see, the rest of my hair is done and ready to go. So I'm gonna start off with this first section and just go ahead and go through the process of how I got the look. So first off, I am going to um, grab the braiding hair, okay? And I'm gonna show you how much I parted off, um, just so that you'll know how thick, um, how much hair I use for the braid thickness. And this is pretty much how much I use for each braid, okay? And now, I'm doing the rubber band method, so I definitely wanna make sure my hair is protected. So I actually soaked my rubber bands in some oil. I always do this whenever I do a rubber band method. Just This just makes sure that the rubber band is nice and moisturized so that when I wrap it around my hair, it doesn't snag or pull. You know, it can basically slide right off. This is the um, edge hold or the hold gel that I'm using from African Pride. I love this stuff, it's very moisturizing. The last time I did my protective style, it kept my hair moisturized the entire time. So I'm putting that all over my hair and it is like a holding gel, so it will smooth down all the flyaways. And I made sure I did get it like around my part and stuff just to make sure that it was nice and smooth. And I went ahead and added the rubber band and I'm adding it loose onto my hair, number one, because we need room to pull this thick braiding hair through. And number two, when I go to put up my hair, I definitely want the braid to be able to move and not pull at my edges or at my hair. So, as you can see here, it's a little, you know, difficult to pull the hair through with the crochet braid. Number one, because it's too thick for the um, crochet needle. And number two, because it's um, really thick to pull in between my hair. That's why I said give yourself some space between that rubber band um, and your roots. So once I have pulled the hair through, I'm gonna just grab, okay, my hair in the middle, my hair's in the middle, I'm grabbing a little bit from each section just to even out the sections. 
and then I'm gonna start braiding okay um, this is just gonna give me a nice uniform braid you won't have one section smaller than the other okay so you definitely want to pull hair from each side um, and gather it into um, your hair into the leg with your hair and now um, I will apply some of that edge um, control that lock gel from African Pride as I go along and that will just keep my hair from flying out of the braid and keep it nice and smooth and as you can see I'm at a stopping point where I'm ready to add one of the curly hairs <laughs> curly hairs to the braid so I'm gonna just basically feed that in so I'm gonna add one leg of the curly hair to one leg of the braiding hair the other leg of the curling hair to another leg of the braiding hair and I'm just gonna continue like I haven't stopped braiding I'm just gonna continue and this is just gonna feed it in very na uh, naturally and neatly okay and so I'm just going to keep on, as you can see, that braid does not look interrupted at all. All right. And I'm just going to keep on braiding down a little bit. And then once I've braided down a little bit, I'm going to grab one of those hairs, move it out of the way. Okay. Bite it or whatever you got to do. And then I'm going to continue braiding. So I already have one leg in my mouth separated. I'm going to braid down a little bit more. And then I'm going to add that other leg to my mouth to keep it separated, to pull it out um of that braid so as you can see here i am grabbing that hair sticking it in my mouth and then i'm going to continue to braid down now this is how i was able to feed in that loose hair and it looks so cute do you see that that's so cute and the braid still looks flawless you guys like i haven't stopped so i'm going to continue to braid down until i get to the ends of my hair and i'm going to be adding that curly hair to the ends of my braid so i grab the small piece and keep in mind when i take oh i'm gonna feed it in sorry guys i'm gonna feed it in exactly how i fed in the other ones but when i do when i add in the curly hair at the ends i don't add a full strain i do um split it in half because you don't want it too thick and you want it to blend in okay and at this point the hair is thinning out at the end so you want to take a small piece and not a real real big thick piece and as you can see i'm just taking a small piece of the hair and wrapping it around itself to create a knot so that the braid will not come loose and there you have it you guys the curly hair is left out on the ends it looks so neat so natural and at my roots you guys i have space to pull my hair to one side or the other. Um, do you see that? The roots, it's not too tight, but all the hair is gathered and I still have space to move. So no headaches, <laughs> no headaches. I can wear my hair up and it still looks great and nice and neat. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this other one. I'm gonna shut up and just let you guys watch the process. Right, you guys so this is what the braids look like and as you can see they are very flexible okay they're not too loose or they're hanging by a thread but they're loose enough to where I can manipulate them pull them to one side or the other so now I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing how I've been adding the curly hair sporadically through and it's real simple you guys I'm just going to basically crochet it through at the root where the braid is where the knot of the braid is and I'm gonna do the invisible knot method, which is by taking one leg and feeding it through the loop a couple of times, and that's gonna give me a nice knot to secure it. And so I just basically did that um, sporadically around my hair, not too much because I did have a lot of loose hairs within the braids and on the end of the braids. So everyone was asking me how I keep the curly hair from tangling up. And I mean, it's going to tangle its, its synthetic hair. But what's been helping me is this mousse, you guys. Like, 
Yo, I have fallen in love with this mousse from The Dew. It's very moisturizing and it keeps the curly hair nice and smooth. And basically whenever I feel a tangle, I'll throw some mousse on it and it'll straighten it out instantly. So I've been using this first of all to add more moisture and add more shine to the braids to keep the flyaways down and to keep the curly hairs in order so that they won't get matted down. So I do this once a day, you know, when I wake up in the morning and after a long night, I will just add that mousse and look how beautiful it looks on the hair. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this style. Are you feeling it? Is this something you can see yourself rocking? Um, yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think about how I did um, with the braids. Did I do a good job? Do you think I could have done something different or something better? Is there a new technique out there that I don't know about that's a little bit easier? And remember to check the description box for all the information on the hair and the products that I use. And I'll talk to you guys in the comment section below. Bye!